Hey guys, Laura here from Cherubs Chalks Interiors. I'm based in the UK and I'm a content creator for Dixie Bell Paint. Today I'm going to show you how I use their products on my latest project. Here is the before of an old vintage sideboard that I'm going to be transforming into a colourful boho piece. It does need a fair bit of TLC, so let's get started. So first of all, I did some repairs, I cleaned, and now I'm sanding with 120 grit sandpaper. I'm hoping to smooth out some of the surfaces. There are a lot of scratches and marks on this one. Now I'm going to clean with white lightning. I've mixed some granules with some hot water and put this into my spray bottle. I'm now going to spray and wipe all of the white lightning to give it a real good clean. I will then come back with some plain water and rinse this all off. I've chosen my colours, I'm wanting this piece to be really bold and colourful. So I've gone with four colours from the Terra Clay paint line in Malachite, Wheat, Elderberry and Cerulean Blue. Okay, so I'm going to start with the Wheat, which is a pale creamy yellow. I'm going to cross hatch this using a natural bristle brush. This is going to be a textured base layer. So as you can see, I'm cross hatching this on randomly all over the piece to create the desired effect. Once that is dry, I want to seal the base layer in. So I've got some Terra Tough and I'm going to apply this all over as my plan is to apply a different colour on top and then distress back to this colour. Being as the terra clay paint is reactivated with water, it's really important that you seal that base colour in because when I go to wet distress, I could risk taking off the base colour as well as the top colour. So my main colour is going to be malachite, this gorgeous rich green. I'm going to apply this all over using a premium chip brush. Once I've let that dry, it's time to wet distress. So my aim is to reveal some of the yellow peeking out from underneath. To do this, I spray with my water mister and then I just rub away using a damp cloth in the areas where I want to see the yellow. Once I'm happy with how that looks, I'm going to come back with my Terra Tough again and seal it all in. Now I've come back with some Elderberry, a deep purple tone. I've also got my Big Daddy brush and I'm just dry brushing to add some extra hints of colour all over. I'm now going to do the same with the Cerulean Blue but I'm using a smaller brush to give a different effect. Finally, I'm going to seal that all in once more. Then I can apply the handles, reattach the door hinges, and she's ready to go. Here's the finished piece. She certainly makes a statement now. What do you think to her new look? I had so much fun creating this piece. The terra clay paint lends itself so well to artistic finishes and the colours are divine. I also painted the interior using elderberry, which pairs so well with the green. This gives a lovely colourful surprise when you open the doors. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. To see more of our projects, you can follow us on all of the social media platforms at Cherubs Chalks Interiors. 
For more videos like this, be sure to subscribe, leave a comment and turn on your post notifications to get notified when we next post. Thanks for watching.